There's a lot of universality in sport, which is what we're all here to talk about and to, to celebrate. And you know, that's very much what Laureus is about. It's very much why I'm thrilled to be involved again. It's a, it's a trip for me to come to China, this um, incredible country, which offers a huge amount of sport for my work at the moment through Sherlock and other things I've done. I've got a huge fan base here, but to do Laureus again means a lot. It's a really, you know, the Sports for Good Foundation is a very hands-on, quantifiably successful charity, which puts patronage of the underprivileged children at its focus and gives sport education and opportunities to those who wouldn't otherwise have it that does change lives and in 2000 when Nelson Mandela stood on the stage you could see the electricity in that speech when he said sport has the power to change the world you looked at the sports women and men around him and there was this amazing feeling that they were being asked to be beyond icons in their own chosen fields but actually be spokesperson for spokespeople for what sport can achieve and I'm just thrilled to be carrying on the legacy again as a presenter and just putting the message out there. You know, it's over 150 programs in over 30 countries. We've helped millions and millions of children. And some of the success stories will be on stage tonight, the individual ones that, that can really just blow you away with how inspiring they are. But also, just to know at its core, this idea of what sport can offer children in those situations, and they're terrible situations to do with poverty, crime, diseases like HIV AIDS and malaria and displacement through war, famine and natural disasters and the community that sports build but also the individual hope that children are given by being given a purpose, a voice, an activity, a focus and being encouraged to develop those skills and given the literal ability to do that and how transportable, um, transport, transporting but also what am I trying to say? It's easy to take a football anywhere in the world. It's not that hard to take a cricket and a bat and you know some sticks or stumps for cricket. And it's 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 about how immediate the access to those things are if you have someone willing to help you make that leap. So Tony Hawks may turn up in the middle of KwaZulu Natal, which is a very rural province in South Africa, with a portable skateboard ramp and kids who have done nothing or have had nothing in their lives who have slept behind dustbins are suddenly given a skateboard and a ramp and it's, like, it's, it's almost like an alien's landed but once that's given to a child who is fearless who will practice and, and get great enjoyment out of that and develop skills you have you know you have extraordinary things happen like like talent who will meet tomorrow night it's an amazing story and it's heartbreaking five years from living behind a dustbin to now having a life on the west coast of america as a as a skateboarder at the top of his game it's, it's incredible um, so those bridges, those links and those success stories, I think, is why we're all really here. It's why we all turn up. It's fun, but, you know, at the heart of it, some great sportsmen get acknowledged as well, which is fantastic. But this raises a huge amount of money and awareness for a really, really good cause.